This is how I glow up and practice self-care. Hello, I'm Alexandra. I'm a self-proclaimed self-care expert and I feel like I have my routine down. I know what needs to be done and I just, just need to do it. And the first thing that I do is that I schedule dedicated self-care. So that's what we're doing today. I'm leaving New York tomorrow. So I wanted to have a self-care day today. Do all the things that I want to do, or most of the things that I want to do before I leave the city. Let's do it. <laughs> first of all, I want to talk about like why scheduling self-care works. When I schedule self-care, I feel more motivated when I'm working. What I mean by that is that I have something to look forward to and then I'll want to be more productive and like actually get my work done. So let's say I was still working on my assignments. I want to finish it so I have this full day of self-care to myself and not just like maybe half a day or some part of the day because I'm still working on the assignments. It doesn't even have to be a full day if you're really busy and you just want to do like a little bit of something and like feel like more of a human when you're in rot mode but yeah scheduling it is vital because like it's important to take care of yourself and i feel like people forget about that if you don't have a lot of time to take care of yourself i think what's most important then is to have some sort of routine so like right now i'm doing my skincare and i do my skincare every single day while yes doing your skincare is like a form of like maintenance it could also be a form of self-care depending on how you go about it so maybe you could do like a little eye mask or buy a product that every single time you use it you feel like man i'm doing like a form of self-care not an ad but for me, I recently got the Road Beauty lip treatment. I don't know how I feel about it. I do think I like it. I don't know if I love it. But every single time I use it, I am like, mm. <sighs> it's nice. And I think it's in part because I recently got it. So anyway, schedule yourself care. Next thing I would say is to clean your room and tidy your spaces. My room is a mess. I mean, it's not as much as a mess that it could be, but... It's still like kind of a mess. So let's put things together. Even if you are the type of person to kind of like enjoy existing in your mess, personally, I feel like everyone benefits from tidying their spaces. Like to me, your spaces are a reflection of the spaces in your mind. So if it's messy and chaotic, then likely your mind is also messy and chaotic. Hot take? Is this a hot take? I think everyone feels better after they clean their room. Even if it sucks to clean it in the process. But like after when you're like sitting and reaping the rewards of your clean room, like I think everyone feels better. I understand that self-care looks different for everyone. And glowing up looks different for everyone but i will say cleaning your room and like your physical spaces like doing the basic needs like taking out the trash washing things is you know the bare minimum and a requirement i swear like once you make your bed i feel like my life's together i can't do anymore it's it's too much for me Next up on this list is to fix your physical self. I don't want to say fix because then it means that like there's something wrong with you, but there's nothing wrong with you. There's just like needs some upkeep. Anyway, get dressed, put on a little makeup, start to feel yourself a bit more. You're glowing up. I don't want to put on a lot of makeup today just because it is early and I'm tired and I am running late. I have a hair appointment at 10 and I honestly should be leaving like now. But I don't know what to wear and I feel like this is my constant dilemma. I'm just going to do the bare basics, which isn't very like glow up video of me, but I don't know. I think you can like be yourself. I think you can exist in the ways that you normally exist and still glow up. <sighs> They're not even. The thing is, is that I want to wear something like fun and cute and like nice shoes, but I know I'm going to be walking a lot, so I don't know if I really want to do that. It's my outfit. It's very, it's giving cozy. I wasn't sure what to wear because I feel like glow up videos, like 
people tend to wear like i don't want to say extreme things but like things that they normally wouldn't wear and i would normally like i would wear this on a regular day but the difference is is that like i just like decide to wear things that are made with love and that i love so the scarf my mom made me when i was like a kid and the sweater vest I made for myself last year. And I actually haven't like worn it that much this season. So I'm going to try to get a few more wears out of it before it gets a little bit too cold to be wearing a vest. Which is sad. I do this. I feel like I do this like self-care routine like every <laughs> few months. Okay, babes. It's time to go. I've been going to this place in Chinatown to get a haircut and it is actually my favorite. Like they do such a good job and it is so affordable. I got a trim for my curtain bangs, more face framing pieces and more long layers. And this is the final result. I always feel like such a new person whenever I get my hair done. So this was definitely a big win. Honestly, this concludes my physical transformation. The only other thing that I would do are my nails and I just got it done a few days ago and I just didn't film it. And the next step for me is to fill myself with things that make me feel good and that is eating well since i'm in chinatown i decided to stop by my favorite place for changfeng which is one of like my favorite chinese breakfast or actually i eat it for lunch breakfast and dinner but um i got that and soy milk it is so good and honestly i love it so much Now the last thing is something that I want to focus on for the majority of this video is to feed your soul. And what I mean by feed your soul is to consume things that you love. And for me, that's books and movies. And it just so happened that the Metrograph, which is an independent film house in New York, had a book fair. And so they had like all of these like film books and they also had the Paris Review do a little pop-up and it was so cute. It was actually my first time going to the Metrograph and I am so sold. Like I've been wanting to go because I really like the curation of the things that they play, but I just haven't had a chance to go and watch. But after visiting, I'm like now convinced I will be coming in the future. Also, I needed some coffee, so we're getting some coffee. One thing that really makes me feel so good is exploring and finding little places and not really having a plan. But and so I went into a lot of little small shops. On my process of window shopping, I stopped by downtown yarns which is one of my favorite yarn stores in the city like everything in here just makes me so happy because they have such good quality yarn and workers are so kind eventually i made it to my destination which is s'more bakery i've been wanting to try this place for a while and i'm glad i was able to get a seat and enjoy pastry and read i'm currently reading minor detail for subtle asian book club's december book of the month although i know the month is always ending by the time i'm publishing this video there is nothing quite like sitting in a coffee shop and reading and having time to kind of just enjoy yourself and that really contributes to the internal glow up that no one really talks about so yes schedule some time to sit in a coffee shop and read yeah. This was a mistake. There's so many people. You guys are matching! That's so cute! Okay. I hate it here. It's good to finally be back home. I got a cardamom bun which is one of my favorite pastries ever because i love cardamom I went to s'more bakery for the first time which a lot of people say is the best place in new york city to get cardamom buns and my current favorite is la cabra so let's see if this is better Woo! oh my god I think I like La Cabra better. I started laundry. She's going. I also did dishes. I'm soaking um, vases because there were dead flowers in them. And most importantly, I ordered food. 
I'm so excited to eat. I got myself a pretty big meal. We have sushi and tempura soba. I think usually when I go to this restaurant, I share the tempura soba with my boyfriend and then we each get a set of the sushi. So I have a feeling I'm probably gonna have some leftovers. I feel kind of bad though. There was like an old Asian man as my delivery guy. I'm pretty sure he like works solely for the sushi place to do delivery and he was like going up my stairs and i like accidentally tipped less but what's done is done yay slay mokase and tempura I'm so happy. This is so good. I feel like I haven't been nourishing my body with enough vegetables today, but it'll do. I feel like there is like some vegetables and the soba is pretty clean and I think really what my body needed. So we're pretty solid. I've also feel like I've been feeding my soul. I spent the majority of today like feeding my soul yes a glow up is like in part physical but i think the most important part of a glow up is internal or mental and emotional i've been doing really good like i feel almost ready to go back to work but i am going to do a little bit more of that by watching a movie. I kind of want to watch a Christmas movie. Should I watch Home Alone? I've never watched Home Alone and I'm home alone right now. So it's on there. Okay. Should I watch The Umbrellas of Cherbo? You know what I kind of want to watch? Fanny and Alexander. So the choices are Home Alone, Fanny and Alexander, The Umbrellas of Cherbo, or The Holiday. Vote now. And the winner is Fanny and Alexander. I'm so excited. It's only been like 10 minutes and I love it already. Also, I didn't even, I didn't realize it was going to be three hours and in Swedish. But I guess, I guess I made my commitment. Oh, sorry.